What's going on guys? Today we have a video about the best boots to buy, ranging from the prices of $30 all the way to $1,000. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. First boots that you're going to find for the cheapest are going to be vintage cowboy boots. These are just some Dan Post leather cowboy boots. They, I got them at a thrift store for around like 20 to $30, I think. And you can find them online for basically that. Probably a little bit more expensive online, but they're just great boots. They hold up really well, look good with like massive pants because the toe kind of sticks out. I do recommend wearing bigger pants with these just because if you don't, the shaft of the boot is gonna like pop out and it's gonna give this like weird, like square, like Minecraft effect, I guess. But yeah, these are a great pair of boots, good distressing and amazing leather quality as well. Like extremely soft and they're very comfortable. I will have a pair in this gray slash like, yeah, just like gray colorway. My grandpa actually gave these to me for free. Um, I really love these boots a lot. I've worn them a ton. I've worn the black ones a ton. And yeah, just great boots. Let's hop on to the second pair. The next boots are going to be vintage combat boots these ones specifically are from vietnam era they are an amazing pair of boots very rugged and durable leather on them a little bit stiffer on like the ankle area more support they have i'm not sure how many eyelets but a lot and the bottom don't usually come like this i got mine vibram lug sold it's just a resole you can just take them to a cobbler it's around like 80 bucks to do but these boots were around 60 to 100 you can find them for. And the places where to find them the cheapest are going to be eBay and Etsy. Honestly, Etsy has some of the best vintage pieces, in my opinion, for really, really good prices. I'm just going to let that out right now. It's not trying to gatekeep it right now or anything. But yes, vintage combat boots. I swear by these. I show them in like every video. You guys are probably fucking sick of me talking about them now. I don't know, I'm just delusional and I love these boots so, so, so much. They look great with everything. And the Vibram Lug Sole gives it an extra edginess, I guess, to it. Yeah, great pair of boots. I do not recommend these enough. If you don't have a ton of money to spend and you're in debt or whatever, I don't care, buy these boots. Everyone should have a pair of vintage combat boots in their arsenal. Let's hop on to the next pair of boots. The next ones are a pair of Saint Laurent Lucas boots that I got at Second Street in San Francisco for around $250. Boots are really, really great, but I just don't wear them enough. So if you do want to buy them, hit me up on Instagram. I will sell them to you for like $190. They're in this like suede material. They're kind of distressed on the toe and they're extremely pointed at the end. Like probably the sharpest point ever. If you kick some with these, they are dropping to their knees. But yeah, really good pair of boots. They're cool, but I just can't wear them that well. They are a size, I think 42, which is a little bit too small for me. And especially when the toe is like this. So if you're a 42 and you're looking for these boots or you want a pair of these kind of boots, Hit me up, I will sell them to you. Next pair of boots are a friend of mine's brand. You've most likely heard of it. If you watch my videos, you definitely watch his. They are a pair of the Somar Grunt boots. One of the best boots I own, honestly. Absolutely love these boots. Most comfortable boot I own. Well, second most comfortable boot I own, in my opinion. But as you can see, mine are absolutely fucked up. Like, they're just kind of distressed all over. That is not natural wear. I just took sandpaper to mine because I'm very impatient fuck. Yeah. Amazing boots. They have a very, very, very thick lug sole on them. It's not a Vibram sole. It is a custom Somar oil resistant sole. If you're ever in the trenches and you're going through some oil fields, don't really know. These will save your life. You're not going to slip and yeah all along the leather you can see that it's exposed and it reveals this nice brownish material leather not sure when he's gonna drop them again i think he only restocked a little bit but amazing pair of boots shout out owen and somar one of my favorite clothing brands definitely love everything he makes 
any designs. It just fits into my wardrobe effortlessly. One of my best boots I have right now, extremely comfortable, buy them. These are probably one of my favorite boots I've ever owned as well. These are the Undercover Autumn Winter 2006 Burnt Suede Engineer Boots. That is a mouthful to say, but you can find these online for around $300 all the way up to $400 depending on what size you want. They do not come with this sole on the bottom. This was applied to the person before me that owned them. It is just a Vibram lug that they stuck onto the bottom of them from a cobbler. But the reason I love these boots so much is because it has this super nice suede like material or suede material and it's just distressed all over as you can see and then on this one you can see the distressing more as well and what's cool about this is if you don't like how it's coming out it's getting a little bit too distressed for you you can just throw them in a tub of writ dye and it'll just be completely pitch black again and they're just a super soft leather as well good boots nice lug to them love my lug soles on boots so yeah undercover 2006 burnt suede engineer boots now this is the third most expensive boot i own these are a pair of guidi 20 hiking boots that were originally this color it's like this light beige color but i did take them to the cobbler and i got them over dyed black and obviously they came out perfect in my opinion i think they're perfection i don't think there's anything wrong with them and i love suede boots by the way i know a lot of people don't like suede boots but i'm in love with them these costed me i think 600 which is an insanely good price for guidi 20s i think there is a pair up online right now for like 700 and no one's bought them yet. So I'm thinking about buying another pair because I'm gonna have three after that, that means. But I might just leave it up to one of you guys to buy them. If you find these boots specifically for under $900, I would highly recommend buying them immediately. You will get your money back no matter what. And they're probably my favorite boot of all time. Not probably, they are my favorite boot of all time. I can't recommend these enough for people. They are a bit harder to find in like the 988s or 795s, but great boots. They just hold up really well. Guidi is one of the best boot brands to buy. If you're looking for a very nice quality boot that's gonna last you a long time, great boots, love them. So the next pair of boots, I got these from my homie Josh. He works at the uh, store in LA called Groupie. If you guys don't know, check them out amazing amazing store they sell a bunch of archive pieces you might be seeing this in the background i just did a pretty big trade with them for that all of them are super dope really nice genuine guys so yeah but just straight on to these these are these ccp or carol christian pole side zip boots i'm not entirely sure the full name of them bottom because i love ccp boots and they're a really good price i got mine for 800 which is basically unheard of and they were a little bit stiff at first but once you wear them and break them in they kind of form to your foot like these did um they are sold on the bottom from a cobbler which i highly recommend doing if your boots do not have a sole just put a sole on the bottom like a rubber one these are not spiral zips i do love spiral zips but i have not found one that's a good price yet and then the heel of them is kind of this uneven leather i'm not entirely sure what if that's like a style but hurt a little bit at first but they do break in really nicely in my opinion guidi boots are going to be better leather than ccps ccp makes extremely high leather quality and yeah now the final boot i'm going to show is the grandmaster $1,000 boot. These are the Guidi 20 hiking boots. Again, another pair of Guidi 20s. These are just in a full grain horse leather. They're extremely heavy. It's kind of hard to hold it up like this even. But basically the same thing as last. They have the Vibram lug on the bottom. A lot of the Guidi boots 
that are made with these kind of soles. All of them are gonna be Vibram. A cool detail about these is they're nailed into the bottom as well. And the leather on these is absolutely amazing. It's almost, I think it's a double layered leather that they use for them. And it is probably the thickest leather. If you wear these in the summer, you're gonna get heat stroke, but I don't care, I'll wear them anyways. Super, super good boot. I do not recommend Guidi enough. Guidi boots are 100% worth all the money in the world. These ones were exactly $1,000 and they're the most expensive boot I've owned. I love them so much. I wear them almost every day. That's why I did buy another pair of them. Um, but yeah, I, I cannot get enough of these boots. They're the best boots ever made. And I'll stay by that until I find a better boot than this, obviously. But yeah, great boots. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you got some inspiration on boots to buy or ones that you want or saw any that you're interested in. Um, I try my best to buy things that I know are gonna test time and last a long, long, long time also. Thank you guys for watching so much. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace.